Hi, welcome back to Gastric Sleeve Journey 2020. Today's episode is about being overweight and the coronavirus, and exactly what you can do to protect yourself. Stay tuned to the end to hear practical advice that is scientifically proven to help protect yourself, and no, it's not just wash your hands. Obese people are super high risk. Today, a study came out in the UK that 70% of ICU patients are obese, uh, are obese that have the coronavirus. I think that needs to be repeating. 70% of all the intensive care patients in the UK are overweight. This is extremely frightening. Yikes. Scares me. Also the age thing, where before is only the senior population, that whole theory has pretty much gone out the window. More younger people are getting it now than ever. So we need to take extra precautions. I'm in multiple private Facebook groups with multiple different doctors, and this advice comes from a naturopath based doctor with 10 other initials after his name. And the crazy thing about this advice is that the doctors on the front lines have started doing exactly what he said months ago, like in New York, doctors are giving people vitamin C that are positive for Corona. So the number one easiest way that no one is talking about to prevent the coronavirus is taking extra vitamin C, vitamin D with K2, and my favorite, N-acetylcysteine, in addition to your regular multivitamin. He also recommends taking melatonin, but only if you are low on it. Since I don't think anyone is going to run to go get tested on melatonin, let's just stick to the big four. So first up is vitamin C. Have it in any form. This is the chewable one from Costco and the now vitamin one, which is great. Um, have vitamin C in absolutely any form. I have chewables from Costco and then the now foods, as I just showed you, <laughs> uh, which has added the now foods version has added rose hips for even extra power. Uh, but get in what you can and shoot for a daily total amount of no less than two grams per day. You can also go much higher in general without any side effects. If you do experience some stomach irritation from taking it, uh, take with food. I am currently taking five grams a day uh, for extra protection and um, I also like the chewable ones. They kind of taste like candy. So there is that. <laughs> so next we have vitamin D3 with K2. It's a bottle. There's just some D3. Um, the doctor recommends three, three to 5,000 IUS a day. He does five thousand I use four times per week himself. And then lastly, my favorite one, N-acetylcysteine. Hopefully I said that correctly. Uh, this is the prescure of gluthone and gluthone is the biggest antioxidant in the body. Hello, get in my belly, take my money. I don't want the Corona. <laughs> tons and tons of studies supporting are supporting taking this as an antioxidant. This amazing supplement breaks up mucus. Hello, mucus and the lungs. That is the problem with the coronavirus. A doctor rec the doctor recommends 600 milligrams three times per day with or without food. Um, it may be uncomfortable on an empty stomach. I just ordered more. Uh, there'll be a link down below in the description. Next up, no surprising here is zinc, uh, which has generally been recommended for helping to recover from the flu. Uh, there's plenty of data on this. Having this in the throat lozenge is an easy way to have this. I always have taken coldies whenever I get sick, and I know this totally works. Um, he also says, given the combination of all four of these supplements, they all work together, and they are synergistically benefits each other, and the benefits are outstanding. Like I mentioned before, he does recommend melatonin. It's best if you are deficient in and deficient in it, but most people wouldn't know. So if you do decide to take it, take a low dose one hour before bed with a dosage of one to three milligrams daily. He recommends using coconut oil in your cooking and also mixing your coffee because coconut oil has been documented to be antiviral. But what is even better than that is his MCA oil, which helps you stay in nutritional ketosis better than regular coconut oil and is also very antifungal. So much for watching. I'll post links to everything down below. Let me know if you've ever heard of N-acetylcysteine. Um, are you going to try it? I want you to be safe and healthy out there. Take care of yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing you next time.